to it. I'm Don Bodan from SampleLibraryReview.com. Today we're going to be doing a quick look of Quake by Fallout Music Group. Quake continues Fallout Music Group's artist series, and these guys are just putting out amazing tools for anyone doing trailers or very modern cinematic sound design. And this is a first, as far as I know, a three-layer engine to create downers and drops with bonus whooshes. In total, there's 250 unique samples full of organic and synthesized sounds. The library comes as wave instruments, as 24-bit, 48K wave files, or as contact instruments for both Contact 5 and the six. Library normally sells for $49. You can pick it up at Fallout Music Group for $39 for just, I think, another week. I'll include a link. Take you straight over to Fallout Music Group below. Okay, I've got Quake loaded up here. Um, this quick look video, we're just going to try to get a feel for the instrument and an idea of what all it has to offer. Let's start by just listening through a whole bunch of presets. I'm going to mute my mic and we're just going to randomly select some to check out. Yeah, I'm just liking the diversity of these, and I'm starting to see why. Um, this is this is just a, another level of thinking and creating downers and drops. I'm just starting to see why there's not a lot of these instruments out there, just because it's hard to wrap your head around, I think, getting a three-layer engine that can actually create something that's exciting. Yeah, that one's so got some nice stereo uh, effects across each side. <laughs> that one's called One Time at Bandcamp. Pretty creative title. Now this one says ride the LFO for speed, so I'm going to see what happens if I do change our frequency. So that would be really cool to go ahead and, and set that um, point there. Oh, they already had it there. I'll remove it here. They've got it on... Uh Yeah, they got it on the low pass. I would do it on the speed, too. Yeah. All right. I know I said I was going to mute my mic to listen to the presets, but I'm already excited about this. Let's do a couple more.
right? So the basics of the engine here, from what I understand, we've got three layers. So you're able to actually select from all of the different samples and change them. Then you have uh, attack, release, tune, and then we also have the ability to compress the length or stretch it. Now what I find interesting here is they've got the mixer right here, so to just listen to the samples alone, I've muted these two here. And then to make it go a little faster, we can compress it. I hope you have your headphones or your subs on, my friend. So the idea there that we're able to combine from all of these samples, start to find leaping off points, maybe from the presets, or randomize. Yeah, I like that one. And then they got this knob in the middle. I, I assume this adds a little bit of bite or crunch. Let's check that out. Sure does. It sounds like it adds a little bit of oomph to the low end, too. You can see now just playing with the LFO or possibly the filters. We get some fun speed stuff going on. Whether we're increasing speed or slowing down. couple different verbs and settings for each. And with the whoosh additive here, you can see how the center C here, C4 I believe, is going to play back our um, three layer engine. Well, at any time you've got access to all these additional whooshes, all of these extra keys. And they're whooshes before our drop plays. And that's, uh, that's not my favorite drop so far. That's kind of cool. You can see how that whoosh really adds to it. So let's mute our drop and just listen to a few more of these wishes. And note, I did have my verb turned off for those. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's not really too much more to this except to just experiment and um, try to see what happens when we just create a whoosh uh, or create a drop. Let's say we went a little longer and a little lower. Okay. And then the second one here, let's pull up something... Uh, a little more bite to it. Maybe a cello might have it. Did 
there we go. Now we've got like a uh, an octave up almost. I panned it a little to the side. And then let's listen to our third whoosh. Yeah, it's got a nice long decay there. Change of the bar. Yeah, and just use a little LFO for fun. And then let's see if we can find a whoosh. That'll be, that might be a little too much. And I think what's nice about the whoosh, we're able to actually kind of tone it down using both tuning, a volume control, and high and low pass. I think value for money, those of us who do uh, trailer tracks, who do cinematic sound design, who are looking for something contemporary for drops, and it's kind of nice, these added whooshes, there's not quite a tool like it around that I know of, so please comment below, tell me what your thoughts are about Quake. I'll include a link takes you over to Fallout Music Group, it is on a special price, intro price, just for another week or so until the middle of August 2021. So that's going to wrap it up here for this video. Thanks for checking it out. Please let me know what you think, what you think about Quake. I'm always eager to see what the Fallout music group is doing. I'm just loving their, their tools and how they're designing things. What are your thoughts? Please comment below and let me know. If you're not already, please like, share, or subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you back around on Fridays for the weekly deal compressor.